Welcome to BWL Media. Today I welcome Cahal Friel, the Executive Chairman of Open Orphan. Cahal, it's great to have you with us. Jose, it's a pleasure to talk to you. So Cahal, tell us about the Human Challenge Program results that you've announced recently. Yeah, Rosie, this is an exciting development in our company. There's been world attention on us for the last 18 months. Uh, I know I've uh, kind of tried to set people's expectations and let's say calm things down, uh, but Look, we've been kind of holding off on the human challenge program until we published these results, which is very important. Like COVID has been a danger, it has been a pandemic. But yeah, the results today, it's it's finally published, took a little longer than expected. But today's results say a COVID human challenge program, the one sponsored by the Vaccine Task Force, a partnership involving, was led by HVIVO as a CRO, our subsidiary, Open Orphan. The sponsor was Imperial uh, and was running the role free. This partnership worked very successfully. And basically, long story short, it says human challenges, studies in COVID are safe. And Carl, are these human challenge studies still needed to approve new vaccines and antivirals? Yeah, the interesting part is, look, we know we've seen COVID. I'm, I'm a big optimist. I think the pandemic is over. But we've got, look, as all our health ministers, we've got to live. COVID's going to be with us for a very long time, hopefully not as long as influenza. Every year, there'll be new therapies, new vaccines, new antivirals, new monoclonians, and it's going to be harder to test those in the field. So there's never been a bigger reason to run them in a human challenge program, because we say we can do in six, eight weeks, but takes two, three years in the field. So yes, they will be required. I do emphasize is that up to this point, we're a private company with shareholders. We have to be very careful. COVID was highly pathogenic. That means it was dangerous up until the arrival of Omicron. I think now we all can say COVID's a lot less dangerous. When we started these challenge studies 18 months ago, there was no cure for COVID. There was no vaccines, but there's no treatment. Today, if you happen to have COVID and it gets extreme and gets serious. There's a whole range of steroids, antivirals, monoclonium. So I think uh, it's transformed us that we now are into the next phase of a challenge study business, open orphan, and how we deal with COVID going forward. Now, Carl, you said before Christmas that you had 95% of 2022 targeted revenues contracted. Now this was non-COVID revenue. Can we expect to see some COVID-19 revenue coming through this year? Yeah, Rosie, look, we've been trying to guide the market nice and gently. We're growing, uh, fast growing, profitable, sustainable business. In the last year, people were worried, including me, uh, would COVID fizzle out? What would happen? So yes, before Christmas, we got to be at 95% of this year's 22 non-COVID revenues contracted and signed. That's just a good place. And yes, we're now optimistic in the months ahead that we will be doing COVID studies. And the reason we held back is we had to make sure, first of all, the studies were safe. That's now proven safe today. And B, very importantly, we were waiting to make sure COVID became less pathogenic. And now with the rise of Omicron, COVID is certainly less pathogenic. So yes, it's the time is right for Open Orphan to be doing COVID human chance studies because there's a huge demand. Uh, every new vaccine, every new antiviral, if you go out to the field, it takes much longer. And I think, yeah, our plan would be we will be doing COVID human challenge studies uh, in the year ahead. Well, Carl, we look forward to hearing from you on that soon. Um, and thank you very much for the update today. Rosie, thank you very much.